about to show off my new um, CNC enclosure. I've got a uh, three axis hobby CNC um, easy board and then the four axis pro board. So that'll be for the lathe, that's for the milling machine. You got X, Y, Z for the lathe, X and Z are, you know, the two directions. And then the Y will be for my uh, rotary turret and four axis milling machine. If I need a fifth axis, I can borrow it from here. Um, so I got everything mounted in a computer case, which worked perfectly. Everything's mounted on standoffs to keep it up from the bottom of the case. I got six relays that I got from Newark, and they control, let's see, I got them labeled here. Lathe spindle clockwise, counterclockwise, lathe coolant, mill coolant, lathe uh, turret solenoid, and mill spindle. And then here I've got two PCVs that I made myself. They've got one's for the lathe, one's for the milling machine. They've each got a tack circuit on them. That's what this chip is, and the LEDs. Uh, this is a relay for the milling machine power draw bar that will be used for an automatic tool changer. And I installed uh, six mods in each board to opto isolate the outputs because I'm not using a breakout board. I figured that's all you need. And uh, I've been using it before with the lathe. This is my version one board. Oh, there's no MOSFETs on here. That was a different board. This is my version one tack board, um, which worked fantastically on the lathe for six months and then decided to rewire it for that. Just uh, common, these are five mil five volts, lathe five volts, common ground. Um, I've got a switch panel in the front. Middle one is um, power on, lathe, milling machine. And on the back side, oh, and I've just got a 24 volt computer power supply, which I will uh, upgrade in the future. Um, three axes can take up to 36 volts, and the four axes can take up to 42 volts. So I think I'll make a two stage power supply or something like that. On the back, it's pretty messy for now but I've got all my um, 110 volt outputs. I got lathe coolant, mill coolant, mill spindle, and then an unused output. Um, power in from the wall for the electronics. And then I got a fatter cable for um, 110 volt outputs, like the spindle and the coolant pumps and everything. And once my milling machine is CNC'd, I'll make um, you know nice panels in here that everything will snap into. Hopefully it'll be nice and pretty then. And then here's all my motor outputs. Um, mill XYZ A, lathe XYZ. And then here's something I wanted to show. Uh, this is my lathe pack. It uses a... Let's see if you can see that. QB something something. Um, infrared sensor I believe it is. Anyway it works because the pulley is reflective and I got a piece of black electrical tape there that pulses once per second as it rotate or per rotation as it rotates around. So if the lathe is spinning you know 150 rpm at 150 pulses per minute. But I was having problems with my new tack circuits getting interference and screwing up Mach 3. Uh, and I finally figured out the cause of it. This is my shield, because these are all shielded cables, all the stepper outputs and everything are shielded. Um, this is my tack shield. And I've got just a common ground here. I figured I'd put it on the outside so I can mount all my shields on the outside. Everything's also shielded on the inside. Um, but this is a uh, lathe, stepper, X and Y that are shielded here. And when I ground my um, tack shield here, see the little blue LED there. It gets like one volt. It's supposed to get five volts, but uh, it gets one volt of interference 
which pretty much screws up Mach 3. Let's see, I wanted to show diagnostic screen. Here you can see the index pulse, and then our RPM will show up right here. Now when I ground that guy, see the RPM goes nuts. The lathe isn't moving. You get a couple random uh, index flashes. There's one. When I let go, uh, RPM drops back to where it's a zero, what it's supposed to be. No more pulses. So the problem is, you can't ground the tack, or you can't shield the tack at the same source as the stepper out um, shields because they loop and they interfere with each other. And that's screwed up. Um, so I figured I'll just leave it uh, unshielded for now. It seems to work fine. If I have a problem though, it also works good to, I'll run a wire from here da, 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 up to my ground block there. And even though technically it's all the same ground source, um, I think these two are just too close to each other when I do it like that. Because if I ground this, if I put a wire from here into the box, I don't get any interference. But uh, So check out that red LED. And I'll rotate the spindle right now until I hit that piece of black electrical tape. There it is. And that's our index pulse. So black electro electrical tape is on, off. So as you spin, you get your pulse like that. And that pulse is, uh, of course, sent to Mach 3. Let's do a quick test. Spindle on. 776 RPM. Going. Blue LED is doing its thing. Perfect. No interference. It's perfect. Um, having the RPM reading is only sort of nice to know. However, having a one pulse per revolution on the lathe is perfect for threading, which I do quite a bit of. So um, I need it to work fine, like perfect with no interruptions. And I'm really glad that I got that figured out. I spent like two days trying to figure out why there was interference. And I've got the same thing on the milling machine, which has to be perfect as well. So there's my new enclosure. Here's my little grizzly mini mill, which I love. Um, I'll be doing pretty much all the upgrades that Haas did. He's got a YouTube channel, Haas Machine. Uh, if you're into machining, home shop machining, you better watch pretty much every one of his videos. Um, bought quite a bit of stuff from him, actually, in order to convert this thing. So I'm looking forward. I'm doing that next couple days, I guess. I got all my steppers and uh, ball screws just like this. Stepper motors. Here's my stack of future metal, ball screw mount, blah blah blah. So that's all going to go onto there. And uh, that's about that.